Hello, Margaret. Hi, Irina. Hi. <laughs> Welcome to our talk, uh, which is um, part of the exhibition presentation of Unmasked, mm -hmm. Unmasked yeah. One. Mm -hmm. And Unmasked One is part of a series called Unmasked, mm -hmm. where mm -hmm. um, three artists of the gallery are presenting in a new dialogue mm -hmm. their mostly current works mm -hmm. from, um, from the last year, but also from before. Mm -hmm. And um, in this case, in Unmasked One, um, your works are presented together with Annette Zelle and mm -hmm. Hugo Stuba. And now we will talk about your works in the exhibition Unmasked mm -hmm. One. Mm -hmm. What we see behind me, this is um, the work called Dance from 2004. Mm -hmm. And uh, this work is programmatic, actually, for, mm -hmm. the, for the exhibition and for the theme, Unmasked. That's mm -hmm. why I, I put it in the, that, that, that's part of my choice for the exhibition. Mm -hmm. And um, I would like, us to talk a little bit about this work and the other works in the back uh, room of the, mm -hmm. of the gallery. Mm -hmm. And also I would like to, to ask you as the other artists too, three questions. Mm -hmm. And um, my first question is, where do you see the connection to the theme unmasked in the exhibited works? Well, <laughs> first of all, <laughs> the one is behind you dance um, is a very good example because there's quite obviously a mask um, in the, 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 the left hand side of the figures but that's the point we don't really know if it's two figures or is it one figure is it a dance a couple a guy leaning over the shoulder of the woman and this other head is the back of a head we don't really know that or is it about inside outside one person the mask we all show masks at some time or another and um, so that's, that's, that, that was one of the, the, the main um, paintings for me that I was pleased you really showed in this exhibition, because one of my major themes is duality. And so this is a very good example, I would say, of duality. And um, I'd like to say a little bit about the painting style, because it was painted rather thickly. Mm -hmm. And I went through a lot of um, uh, painting processes, and one of the major ones was really laying on a lot of um, paint, scraping off, changing things, laying on, scraping off. So it was often about um, uncovering, taking things away and, and seeing what's lying underneath. So the process was very important for me. And in those early days of working like that, um, I got a bit worried because it seemed as though quite often my idea changed as I was painting. And that's when I started to make a lot of small ideas separately, so individually. And then I would take one of these images and I would develop it into a painting. So not every small drawing becomes a painting, but they do belong, they're part of the process for me. Um, and we'll see that later, I think, when you, you, you show the small drawings. Yes, the small drawings mm -hmm. are coming now. So. Um... You, you said that uh, this, this uh, painting is um, putting some questions, like uh, mm -hmm. it's, uh, and give, giving some answers. So uh, what can you say about that? Like which questions um, would you like to put with this <laughs> painting? I'm not, really, <laughs> I'm not really sure because I think the point is that um, I made this painting, a lot of the work that I do, that's another thing, is intuitive. I work in the, the small drawings, I produce things. It's a kind of organic process. I don't think now I'm going to make a portrait of a figure with a mask. I don't think like that. It's ongoing, it develops. So um, it's, it's not just so clear cut to say um, what I intended there. Um, but on the other hand, I think that what I want in my work is that it's left slightly open and that other people can read into it. They can say there's a mask here, but what is it? Why? You know, they can often see reflections of their own life or their own thoughts. And that's really important for me. So there's an abstraction there and leaving the work that bit open. Yeah, this, this is uh, what I also see in this, in this work, that um, 
this is like embrace and in this embrace you don't know if actually uh, this person looks like a woman but it could be just a person which is embracing another person but maybe it is not embracing another person maybe it's it's embracing another personality no mm -hmm. it's um and and but that's what I see in this painting is that um, it happens in a very constructive, very positive way. So mm -hmm. this mm -hmm. uh, face, which, which is like a face, like a mask, but in the same time, it's like a positive, um, it has a positive mm -hmm. expression. It is mm -hmm. smiling. So mm -hmm. it's happy about this mm -hmm. dialogue. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would also mention that that, that um, very often um, it's clear to see in my work. Very often um, I use symbols, and the major mm -hmm. symbol that I use is a woman figure. Mm -hmm. And this woman figure is not a portrait of one person, she's just really a carrier. She just, um, there, she's the, the standard um, to which I attach other thoughts and yeah. ideas. And so, again, there is this, the face is there, but it's kind of hidden. This could be any face. This mask could be anyone. And yeah. that's what I want. I don't want, I don't make portraits. They're not portraits of anybody. <laughs> so that <thing>. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's, that's, that's what yeah. I like very much in your work. And um, mm -hmm. uh, to the second question, I would like to move in the back. And the second question is, uh, has the last year, uh, this special year, um, changed anything in your artistic praxis and why and mm -hmm. in that moment we will move to the back yeah did it change something in your praxis um well it changed my practice in that i don't have so many exhibitions that people can walk into and see <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah so that's <laughs> I, I, and there is definitely a big element now of technology and and what what's happening exactly like now but i find this really good i find it really fantastic that this step is made that you can bring um even more maybe than an exhibition opening by by such a presentation as now. So I think that that's absolutely fantastic. So I think that we, we're kind of thinking on our feet in lots of different areas, what's possible, what can we do, what can we expand? There's new ideas coming all the time. You know, we're very, I think, resilient in that way. So yeah. there's not a lot of definite changes, I can't say, um, about my actual, what I'm painting. I'm not gonna paint uh, anything particularly to do with the, the virus or the COVID or the whatever else, it's not my thing. Um, but it's it's also um, I'm traveling backwards and forwards uh, from England um, to Berlin relatively regularly, which means two weeks quarantine in England yeah. and, and 10 days quarantine in Germany. And I really in Berlin and I do enjoy that insofar as I don't have any appointments. I can't go out, not even over the door. So I can organize my artwork. I can Im immerse myself in my artwork. Um, and, and I just love that. And it's much more about earlier days um, when I was younger and you were just every day all the time in the studio. So to a certain extent, there's positives and negatives about the situation. Yeah, it's a duality again, no? It's, a du it's always <laughs> duality. <laughs> yeah. So actually this, this year, uh, the last year you used to, to look back uh, into your, your work of 30 years yeah, and categorize yeah. it and um, yeah, put it into order, um, yeah. Put, yeah. put everything together. But also, as you said, you, uh, you, you review the artworks and uh, even you think how you can reuse them again. No? Yeah, abs absolutely, absolutely. And this is one of the benefits of having this time, this quiet time to go through old work. Normally, there's never that chance. You're making new work, you're trying different things. So it, it's been wonderful to, to review the old work and also to see from 30 years ago how raw but how strong some of the work was. And, and I really feel quite pleased about that. So I'm looking back at some of these things and thinking about the kind of themes also about tension in a painting or, um, you, you know, 
pushing over a figure until it's almost falling, you know, and, and yeah. giving that kind of tension um, or pushing a figure up to the very side of, of, of the rectangle and what's happening then. So that there was a lot of playing about with that kind of space and that kind of thing. So uh, that has been really good. And also the thought to how might I work that differently now? Because although, you know, um, I, I've stayed I've stayed true to my figurative work. I am who I am, but I'm also 30 years older. And a lot of things have happened in between those 30 years, 20 years. So I think that it's interesting for me then to take some of this old work and reinvent it and say, how may I deal with this now? What can I do differently? What would be interesting? So no, I'm very excited about that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's it's very nice and and especially this this uh, theme of the tension of the symbols of of the figures the women figures we see very mm. well in in these works which we show in the unmasked one exhibition um, mm -hmm. which are behind me and we will uh, now just come closer to them mm -hmm. that's mm -hmm. what we see on the right side this is the work conserving links. Mm -hmm. um, and um, and here are the works which are partly uh, the so-called monoprints, uh, mm -hmm. and we will uh, explain what does it mean for you, the monoprints, mm -hmm. and these are some drawings from you, colorful drawings, which are mm -hmm. in this in this theme, the theme mm -hmm. of the equilibrium, uh, equilibrium, of a, yeah. equilibrium of the figures. <laughs> Yeah, uh, yeah. here for example or here mm -hmm. like figures which are almost falling down as you said mm -hmm. but they are still mm -hmm. in this equilibrium mm -hmm. um, so um, tell us more about about the conserving links yeah conserving links um, I, I'm happy to talk about that one especially because we looked before at dance which is much more thickly painted um, and these are two ways that I had of working. There was often um, the one process of laying a lot of colour, a lot of paint, then scraping it off, throwing it away, redoing, and actually leaving some marks of memory, really, um, mm -hmm. underneath. And, and in this way, this particular conserving links, um, I did the opposite. I built up the layers of colour, um, although I sometimes blotted the colours. And so again, there are lines left from before, so there's like another story, or a, a, there's, there's memory, there's the layers give, yeah, I think a depth and an interest. So the two, the two different ways I had of working. And I'd like to bring in again, the idea about the small drawings um, with the thicker way of working that I had, I used to do a lot of this over painting, over painting, changing, changing. And it was the early exhibitions in London where I had to produce maybe 10 paintings. And I, I knew I can't keep over painting, over painting <laughs> on one painting, have 10 different ideas. So then um, the point was to make 10 different little ideas and one painting maybe from these. So um, the, the, they belong, as I mentioned before, they really belong to my, my, um, my work, to my group of works. That are part of it and um and so it's to do with my process as well so the small works are ideas they're really purely ideas um or you know made in different ways sometimes watercolor sometimes quick drawing and sometimes monoprints um monoprints monoprints yeah. so what is monoprint the monoprint is a drawing um I can, I can show you one side of yes, please. drawing and then I can show you. I've got, I just so happen to have an example here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, most of them are in exhibition. <laughs> so this is, this would be the drawing that I made um, in, initially. And you can see it's a very definite drawing. I'm not faffing about with anything. I'm not cluttering about, I'm not shading in. I just get a big, heavy drawing which I do onto a sheet of glass, which is covered with blacking. I've rolled on some blacking. And it's interesting for me particularly because again, it's that duality and mask because in the end, you don't see this drawing. This drawing is on the back because the monoprint is on the front. 
And yes. the monoprint you can see is, is more um, kind of more delicate. There's more, uh, more intricacy. Um, there are black marks where it's rubbed against. And, you know, some people might say, oh, my goodness, got a black mark on it. Well, I like the black marks. <laughs> I like to yeah. see um, these, these additions uh, to the monoprint. So, again, this is the, the idea of the mask um, or duality. There's the drawing and then there's the hidden um, mm -hmm. the hidden drawing and there's the, the monoprint, which is shown um, in, in this group here. So actually, these are two drawings. And um, this is your suggestion that mm -hmm. the viewer can, can see the drawing from the backside. But yeah, mm -hmm. but actually, mm -hmm. um, it depends. This is the active, the active part of the viewer um, mm -hmm. or the one who has the drawing. Um, mm -hmm. it is it is his uh, free decision if to yeah. or hers <laughs> if to keep it mm -hmm. uh, on this side or on the other or, side or on the other side yeah or or you could put glass either side and hang or it so you could see both sides yes so it's, it's, it's a, it's a, for me i like it. i enjoy this process i think it's a really um it's a very enjoyable and surprising it's a surprising process because you really don't quite know how depending on the thickness of the black ink, whether it will be too hard, um, too thick, or whether um, it will be just right or too faint. So it's, there's always a bit of kind of um, question mark about it as well, but that makes it interesting. Yes. Mm -hmm. And now we are coming slowly to my third question. And the mm -hmm. third question is, what artistic themes are are you interested in at the moment and you would like to explore soon, like mm -hmm. uh, um, uh, gaze to the future? <laughs> um, well, again, that's, it's, it's a gaze to the future, but I look at the past because mm. I just mentioned this, that um, I'm still the same person. I still have the same sort of interests. Um, I have a palette of interests, really. I, I, and a, and a palette of ways of working. So within that, I can change things. And it's definitely about looking back to look forward. Oh, again, we've got duality. Looking backwards, but looking forwards. Um, and so thinking to, to have another look at some of these much older drawings. Some of them were not even signed. Some of them not, not dated hardly. You know, I just know from the, in fact, I found an old newspaper in one group where it was 1995. So the newspaper is a, new, a sheet of newspaper. So that hasn't seen the light of day since 1995. Um, and so, yeah, that, that I think that that would be very interesting to reinvent, to think, what might I do now? And, and maybe to think about um, life in general, the, the COVID situation, how things have been, how it's impacted um, everyone's life different ways. So I think that there will be maybe some of that um, coming into it. But anyway, it's about reinvention in lots of ways. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, thinking about reinvention, I am remembering the two exhibitions, solo exhibitions, which we did in the gallery in the last right. years. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, they've been always um, dealing with the theme like a re discovering of, um, mm -hmm. of uh, already existing paintings, which have been, mm -hmm. for example, the one at the, at the East Side Gallery, mm -hmm. your mm -hmm. famous one, um, <laughs> <laughs> remembering mm -hmm. about, about the, the um, celebrations of the 30 years uh, from Mauerfall, no? yeah. from the falling yeah. of the wall, where yeah. you've been invited as a Zeitzeuge, as yeah. a witness of the time, to yeah. to remember and to talk what changed and uh, what happened since then, mm -hmm. the painting is still there. Joint venture still there, mm -hmm. and we mm -hmm. had this painting as reinvented uh, version, the gallery yeah. version in the gallery yeah. in the front space, yeah. over two walls. So like. Um, a, it like was a fantastic. painting where you can come in. <laughs> it was fantastic. I loved it because I was, um, when you showed this work, and it was realized not going to fit into one wall, these five yeah. huge panels, 
almost the height of the ceiling. And I thought, oh my goodness. And you said, oh, we put it around the corner. And that's why I like working with you because you, you think differently from me. And you sometimes <laughs> have different ideas, which make me think differently. And that's fantastic. Three dimensional. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually it was really, um, I was amazed and I noticed that people did step into the painting. So they were kind of enveloped by the painting with the two sides. And I had a lot of really good comments, um, people I spoke to later on or at the exhibition opening um, about the work there like that. And I really did enjoy it. I thought it was, you know, standing, because generally a huge painting like that, you want to stand back absolute yards, um, meters away. Yes, so you can like see in a museum. Exact. In a museum, exactly. it was shown in a museum on one wall. That's yeah. One huge, exactly. Um, and, and it looked good, it looked very imposing and very yeah, official. But the way it was intimate, I think that's what I liked about it in, in, in your gallery, it was intimate. You could walk into it. There's there's figures all around, so some are more almost your size, some are smaller, and it's like being in company. So all making different movements and no, I really did enjoy that. That was good. <laughs> yes. Actually, yeah, would you would you like to say something more uh, about the unmasked exhibition, like closing up? Um, no, I'm just really pleased that you invited me. That was very <laughs> nice. <laughs> and also, I like the idea of three really different artists um, coming together in this unmasked, which is a lot of has a lot of different meanings that you can take from it in lots of different ways. So it was a really it was a fantastic opportunity. And I think also, um, you know, the situation like with the video you've made the two minute art uh, video that you've made, this is where changes are happening about a normal expression, which would be up for three weeks and then finished and gone. So yeah. there's, there's all, all these attachments um it belonged to it which is really good and can be looked back at and can be um can be seen and picked up by anyone so i know i think it's really good and particularly something i think like these videos where people might learn a little bit more about the artists how they do their work most people are not really sure they might ask how long did it take you to make this work yeah <laughs> sometimes i think i want to say my lifetime <laughs> because, because um yeah it's, it's not just a moment um it's it's an ongoing process and so uh -huh, this, this has been a very good experience 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 <laughs> experience <laughs> well that's like an exhibition experience ah. and, um, you see this is my new word to say. <laughs> it's oh, very yeah. nice it's very nice um so you can, you can wait cut this I, out. I make a I, I make a cut now mm -hmm. talking about um reuse rethinking um looking back I want to point out the exhibition which we had in 2011 and mm -hmm. uh, this showed this one painting on the Berlin wall mm -hmm. um, on the East Side Gallery and uh, this is actually a photo showing you um, um, so re renovating uh, renovating yeah. renovating yeah. the painting mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. that was like 20 years after? Mm -hmm. Yes, that's right. Yeah, yeah, that was for the 20th um, celebration of the fall of the wall. So it was a really major event. All of the paintings were renovated and the artists, the artists came back from all over the world um, yeah. to work on their paintings, which was over 100 artists. They didn't all come back, but maybe about 90 of the artists came back to Berlin. And it was funny because we didn't really recognize each other. Are you? <laughs> it's <laughs> like a <laughs> class and class and meeting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And and this painting is also showing two heads, which are exactly. it, it 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 is called joint venture, and yeah. uh, the gallery version of it was this three dimensional walk in uh, mm. presentation of of. A painting but in a mm -hmm. smaller version mm -hmm. but that was also interesting um, that you've been um, showing this gallery version and you asked the visitors to to draw to 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 write as mm -hmm. on a, as yeah. as as on a um, wall yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, 
something which is unusual so that mm -hmm. people can also put their mark on mm -hmm. the work and this way mm -hmm. we're coming back to your theme of the marks of the scarves of of uh, everything what is mm -hmm. giving mm -hmm. the um, the feeling of past and and overlapping mm -hmm. of yeah. of experiences yeah. And, yeah yeah so participation but the other thing is because um every so many years i maybe did some renovating myself and initially um, until the Berliner, the Stiftung Berliner Mauer took took the paint, the, all the, the wall over the East Side Gallery, and so they deal with it now, and they organise the renovations. But every time, then you know, we, there was always um, more little marks. I was here, or thingy. Somebody loves somebody else, <laughs> things like this. And so I like, but but in a way that there was also that was also a dialogue, really, because I cleaned it off, and then the next lot of people, especially young folk, came along, wrote something else on, and then I cleaned it off. But I have to tell a small story. One time, I was making photographs of my wall piece. And there was three Italian girls, they came along, they came over to me and they said, excuse me, a scree, a scree, a bit, bit, bit. And yeah. I said, oh, oh, you're not going to write on this painting. See, I said, no, <laughs> no, 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 it's mine. <laughs> <laughs> photo, photo, <laughs> and we made photos. <laughs> so, so it was quite. That was quite funny. But uh, I, there was that kind of, you know, uh, it, the, the 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 writing was not. I, mean, I didn't really want people to write on it, but 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 on the other hand, it, it really was innocuous in a way. It was 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 not so so bad. Um, but I wanted then people to add their inscriptions maybe about unification or some kind of remarks to do with the wall the fall of the wall and um to add add their piece in it and i, I felt that 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 really lent a lot to the work it was much more um again it was that idea of kind of reinvention re reworking but in a different way mm. so it's, it's always about change and progress process really that yes kind of thing. Oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, wonderful themes. So mm -hmm. I wish you that you continue being creative and uh, that we can make uh, more and more and more exhibitions in the gallery mm -hmm. on this theme. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, unmasked, unmasked is now the flyer is in the other room. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I thank you, Margaret, for this wonderful talk. Oh, and you, uh, stay healthy <laughs> yeah, and um, we see each other hopefully some other time live mm -hmm. in the yeah, gallery when, our pe when also people can come and see mm -hmm. the works um, mm -hmm. directly now mm -hmm. we are open only by appointment and it's also mm -hmm. possible mm -hmm. unfortunately not with such kind of uh, huge crowds as mm -hmm. we had before but it's still mm -hmm. possible so yes, if Lovely. Mm -hmm. Super. <laughs> thank, okay, you, thank you, Margaret. Thank you, Irina. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye.